Hey guys and welcome to a new Pender Film tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk to you about the rule of thirds. If you're new to cinematography or photography, learning about the rule of thirds will help you set up a foundation on which you'll frame your shots. So what is the rule of thirds? Well, the rule of thirds is basically a grid made up of two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. When framing your shots, you want your subject or background elements or whatever to line up with these lines. This helps the shot feel natural and comfortable for people watching or viewing your work. For example, if I was to take a picture in portrait fashion of someone, I would line up their eyes to one of the horizontal lines of the grid. This makes it so the image feels natural and comfortable for people viewing it, because as humans, we first see their eyes when we're talking to them, which is why this picture would feel comfortable if you lined it up correctly. In this example I have here of a woman standing next to a reservoir, you can see that I have lined her up and the border of water in the background to the horizontal and vertical lines of the grid. This helps if I remove the grid, this helps the image to feel natural and comfortable when you're viewing it. It feels normal in a way. You may be wondering if you have to draw this grid on your camera LCD. Fortunately, you do not. Some cameras most modern cameras, in fact, have the ability to show this grid as an overlay to the live preview. Point and shoot cameras and DSLR cameras, the newer ones, have had this feature for years. Some of the older cameras, however, do not have this feature. If you don't have this feature, it's best to visualize the rule of thirds when you're framing anyway. This is so when you come into Photoshop later, or whatever program you use, you don't have to crop away so much of the image to get it to line up with the rule of thirds. However, bear in mind that using the rule of thirds is not a pinpoint precise requirement of all pictures. Do not frame every single one of your pictures to the rule of thirds. It is good practice, but sometimes you can get a lot, create, a lot more creative shots if you don't. Some amazing pieces of photography and cinematography have completely disregarded the rule of thirds for a more creative view on a shot. Photoshop's crop tool has an amazing feature where it can show you the rule of thirds grid as you are cropping. So you can line up things before committing to your crop. If you want to see the rule of thirds on your image, you can set up Photoshop's grid tool to show the rule of thirds. You would go into the grid's preferences, change your grid line every to 100% and your subdivisions to three. This will show you a rule of thirds grid. Thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you've learned something and as always you can find the written version with the same picture and everything on my website www.pen2film.com Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up the video and comment below. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Learning about the rule of thirds will help you set up your shots in a well, in a well, who sets up their shots in a well?